He really came. Welcome all to our tale's grand finale. We're here, Crow. Hard to believe it's been less than three weeks since we last met. <laughs> You're telling me. You all look so grown up now. All those ordeals you put yourself through have paid off in spades. That's certainly one way to look at it. As much as I hate to admit it, I doubt we could win against you otherwise. The trials we faced brought us together and made us stronger. I couldn't be more pleased with what we had to do to come this far. I was finally able to move forward too. So yeah, I like to think I grew up a bit. <laughs> a lot of stuff's changed, but you guys ain't one of them. And that's not all. We're here on behalf of Toa, Angelica, and George too. I promised them I'd bring you back and force you to graduate with them. And it's a promise I intend to keep. Oh man, give me a break. You're telling me you've done all that and it still hasn't dawned on you. Get it through your thick skull, it's not gonna happen. <laughs> That's not true, Crow. Those who are confronted with impossible odds can choose to react in one of two ways. Abandon hope and accept a pitiful fate. Or cling to that hope and forge ahead, overcoming any and all that life throws their way. That's what it means to dream. Vida. She's absolutely right. Maybe we are just young and naive. But if anything, I feel that it was our youth and naivete that allowed us to come this far to begin with. And we've done it without losing a single member along the way, carrying the hopes of everyone we've met with us. I'd say that's pretty amazing, wouldn't you? And for that, I don't see any harm in dreaming of the tomorrow that we all want to come. No one can say that the chances of it happening are zero, after all. <sighs> and all things considered, I'm in something of a difficult position as well. So I sincerely hope you don't think yourself some special snowflake compared to the rest of us. <laughs> yeah, join the club! My background's all weird too, so spit it out! Tell us what you really want. You can deal with all the crappy stuff later. Honestly. <laughs> you may have joined the Academy to stop people from working out your true identity, sure. But you made a big mistake by letting yourself get wrapped up with a bunch of softies like Class 7. Yeah, no kidding. You guys would haunt me to the ends of the Earth, wouldn't you? <laughs> My, what a touching spectacle. You work tirelessly to pursue the impossible together. You lose yourself in the passion of the moment. Innocence truly is the privilege of the young. Duke Cayenne. Oh, that's His Highness the Crown Prince. He's been blindfolded. Have you no shame? And what's that huge red thing behind him? That's the Vermilion Knight, Testarossa. It was sealed away under the capital a long time ago, and it was responsible for countless calamities. It's often referred to as the demon which wields a thousand weapons. And to expand on what Emma said, the ones who supposedly sealed it away were Dreykel's the Lionheart and the Lance Maiden. Ha <laughs> ha! It certainly was. And the only ones capable of rousing it from its slumber are descendants of the Army Bloodline. Thus, why His Highness has so graciously chosen to cooperate with us. <sighs> Duke Cayenne, surely you realize how utterly disrespectful you are being. I have a little dream of my own, you see. A dream my ancestor was unable to reach in his lifetime. One that I will make a reality in his place. A dream? What ancestor? Wait, was this ancestor alive during the War of the Lions? Precisely! Emperor Orthros Rysay Arnor, 
born to the first of the Emperor's secondary wives, the daughter of a duke. He occupied Heimdall at the time of the War of the Lions, but fell to Tricles and became known as the False Emperor. And I inherit his blood. Impossible. I had no idea that the Kayan family were descendants of the False Emperor. <laughs> Hardly a surprise. When the war came to a close, that truth was buried. I suppose it was Emperor Dreykel's way of trying to avoid any further conflict among the nobles. But not a day, not one day in all these years has my family forgotten the sheer humiliation. And so I dreamed of a future where I would take back the Vermilion Knight and this infernal castle. The proofs of ownership over this city that Emperor Orthros had disgracefully stripped away. <gasps> That's all? You occupied Heimdall and started a civil war and that's your reason? Well, the Chancellor's death was desirable regardless, and the Society's diva provided invaluable assistance. The Imperial Liberation Front proved to be serviceable pawns. The Azure Awakener managed to awaken his knight. The time was right in all regards. Only a fool would idly watch this moment pass. I did intend to operate the Vermilion Knight myself, but as I feared, only those of direct descent are capable of doing so. And yet it matters not. I have everything I need to return this city to its original, rightful form as His Highness's guardian. Once my will is done, I shall restore order to Erebonia, returning it to the way it once was and always should have been. That is my ambition. My family's destiny! What nonsense. He doesn't care about anyone but himself. I'm afraid I can't even pretend to care about your ambitions. It's not my place to decide how Erebonia should be run, and I'm not here to lecture you on your ancestors' transgressions. Oh? We have our own ambitions. We're here because we promised Princess Alvin and Prince Oliver that we would rescue their brother from your clutches. And if putting a stop to your dream is what it takes to save His Highness the Crown Prince, then that's exactly what we'll do. You impudent little... <sighs> I think everyone has said their piece now. You won't be going back on your word to let us handle this part, right? Huh. <laughs> Do as you wish. It should provide some light entertainment until the ritual is complete. I expect to be amused. We could skip right to using our knights, but might as well savor the moment while we still can, right? So for the opening act, I'll fight you as I am now. Crow versus Class 7. Crow. <laughs> Very well. And I'll be fighting alongside him. Seeing as how you have the famed purple lightning with you, it wouldn't be much of a fair fight otherwise. Aw, oh, you flatter me. Sadly, I trust your idea of a fair fight about as much as I trust me missing a point-blank shot. <laughs> oh, do excuse me. Emma, I want you to fight with everything you have. We'll see whether you have the resolve necessary to shoulder a witch's burden. Don't worry, I will. Not because of the duty I've been given, but to demonstrate the limitless potential I've found within myself. As the last remaining member and leader of the Imperial Liberation Front, I'm gonna make our very last fight one to remember. And as the one tasked with guiding you to the end... I think it's time I did just that. A combat link? They can do that? It makes no difference to us. Class 7, ready yourselves! Because combat link or not, I know we'll triumph! Right! right. right. This is it! Come at me with all you've got! Witness the witchcraft of the Azure Abyss! My turn! 
All right, let's do this. Okay. Blades. Dance for me. Too slow. No problem. Focus, activate. Okay. Here I go. Near finish. Full speed ahead. How about this? It's my turn! Oh, Moon! Shield us from harm! Crest and shout! My blade will cleave ignorance and light the way! Yeah. 
this. Humankind are evil boys, shackled by emotion. Fury, misery, agony, enmity. Behold the abyss, for it longs to be forever at your side. Paying attention. Everyone. No problem. Let's go. <laughs> Thank you very much. Let's see. Oh, this is a good one. Catch. <laughs> right. Let's go. Blades. I'm having fun. <laughs> My, I'm impressed. Right. Light. Rain upon us. Of course. Blessing of the moon. <laughs> Here I go. Okay. See. Too slow. No problem. Light. Rain upon us. Here I go. All right, let's do this. Yeah, understood. I'll handle it. Cat. Too slow. Liana. <laughs> Shield! 
shield us from harm! Press and shout! Here I go! Alright, let's do this! Of course!
Here I go. Should have been paying attention. How foolish of me. That's the power of the eight leaves. Great! Huh? Thank goodness! I feel stronger than a success. <laughs> I will. <laughs> a matter of course. <laughs> I've got this. Oh my. I didn't see this coming. <sighs> What'd I tell you? Don't underestimate my classmates. They're a tough crowd for being all dreams and sunshine. <laughs> so they are. Crow? Vita? Ah, enough of this nonsense! I need not remind you how if you were to lose against them, our contract would- Butt out, you. I- I beg your pardon? All right, let's wrap this up. This is it, Reen. You ready for the finale? Ready? I was waiting on you. Heed my call. Valamar, the Ashen Knight! Echo. is a battle between Awakeners. None should interfere. She's right. All we can do is watch. <sighs> It's frustrating to be unable to help. But if we must... We'll just have to put our trust in Reen. Is that the sword you forged from Zemirian Ore? Pretty impressive. Guess I don't have to hold back anymore. <sighs> hmm? What, you getting cold feet or something? Yeah, I think I am. Regardless of whether I win or I lose, this is the end. And I can't help but get this nagging feeling like things will never be the same between us after this. So spoiled! The future you want is only gonna happen by making the most of the present. Whatever happened to dragging me back to the academy and forcing me to graduate? <sighs> You're right. This time, I'm not going to hold back. This isn't a fight for this nation's future. It's got nothing to do with our classmates. This is a fight for me. Right now, all that matters to me is surpassing you! <laughs> I wouldn't have it any other way. Divine Knights are all about power, pure and simple. You shouldn't have to think about your feelings. They should just be a part of you. And just as a blacksmith pours his soul into forging a stronger sword, 
You should use those feelings to strengthen your resolve. Okay, we've talked long enough. Let's go. I won't let anyone interfere. This is going to be our final battle. That's exactly how I want it to be. We'll fight until we can fight no more. Until our strength runs dry and our souls burn out!
time to get serious. See? I knew you could do it. And now that we're even, let's settle this. You're on! Okay! Sorry, can you handle this? Understood. Try at least. Try at least. Try this! Gotcha! Can you handle this? I'll handle this. Yeah. 
can do this. Sorry, would you mind? I'll try at least. Darkness! Clean! Gotcha! Gotcha! Ah. Hope you're ready! Bring it on! Can you handle this? Understood. The victor is clear. The battle goes to Reen. <laughs> yes, he did it! He really won. I'm so happy. Unbelievable! You fought splendidly, Reen. It's okay. I'm fine. Reen! Hey, guys. Thanks for believing in me. It means. Of course, we did. It was pretty nerve wracking, though. <laughs> Still, I knew that you would be able to win if you put your heart into it. Indeed. I felt the same way. <laughs> you two were in your own little world, you know. <laughs> True. I don't think we could have interfered even if we wanted to. Where'd you pull all those cheesy lines from, anyway? How inspiring! I won't let anyone interfere, and we'll fight until our souls burn out, hmm? Have you ever considered, I don't know, reading the atmosphere? <laughs> Man, I love you kids. <laughs> you should take it easy for now. You've lost quite a lot of mana. Honestly. It's got nothing to do with our classmates, he says. And then what does he do? He goes and pulls off Arcus links with them perfectly mid-battle. Kind of contradicting yourself, don't you think? <laughs> yeah, maybe. I didn't do it on purpose, though. I just did it unconsciously. I guess all their feelings have become a part of me at this point. My classmates, Valimars, probably even yours, Crow. <gasps> Now isn't that something? 
Form is emptiness, emptiness is form. You reach the point where you can feel others as a part of yourself. Congrats on getting a glimpse of the true heights of swordsmanship. No, it's a little hard to describe. It was almost as if I was dreaming. I just did it without thinking. I'm not sure I would be able to do the same thing again, to be honest. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, Reen. Well, there is a letdown. Honestly, I couldn't agree more. <laughs> oh, well. Seems like you've still got a long way to go before reaching those heights, much like the rest of us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey, you don't need to laugh that much. <laughs> I swear, there's no room for debate with you, is there? You beat me. Fair and square. Beyond a shadow of a doubt. <sighs> Sorry about this, Vita. After you did so much for me, I ended up letting you down. Don't trouble your pretty head over that. True, this wasn't what I had in mind, but I'm perfectly content with happy endings. What? Enough of this! What is the meaning of this, witch? Do you mean to suggest that is all you intend to do? Oh, I forgot he was there. Duke Cayenne? Yeah, same here. Totally forgot. From the beginning, the Society's objective was to prepare this stage for its participants. I seem to recall telling you I had no interest in anything other than the battle between Azure and Ashen. Did you forget, perhaps? Ah. Vita? But what was the point in this battle to begin? Silence! You will be silent! That's how you want to be. Then I'll simply have to do things my own way. He can't mean. Wait! Don't do it! <sighs> Come now, Your Highness. Has come to rule with force. Let the ancient Arnor blood course feverishly through your veins. No! Please! Please! Your Highness! You monster! How could you? No, it sucked him in. <gasps> what the?
Master Patrick, stay on guard! It's... it's as if something is being taken away from us. But what? Yeah, that load of good swords are gonna do against whatever this is. Well, don't just stand there. You know some way to deal with this, don't you? D don't look at me! Though I guess this is no time to be feigning ignorance. These red spirit veins around us are meant to siphon mana. Focus your energy and stay vigilant, and you should be able to mitigate the effects to some extent. I see. Makes sense. In that case... Everyone, take a deep breath and gather your energy in your abdomen. And stay focused. This isn't over yet. Yes, yes sir! sir! Help me make an opening. An opening? With that enhancement technique? Yep, the same one you used on me in that trial three years back. You think it'll work? It's worth a try. Crow? You got something in mind? I think so. Vita and I are gonna try to make an opening so you can get closer. Once we've done that, try and hold out against it as much as you can. You can do that? If you can, please do. We're done for if we don't try something. So I say go for it. Still, sounds like all that's going to do is delay the inevitable. We're going to need something more decisive to turn the tides in our favor. Of course, 
the Divine Knights. If you combine their strength, we could actually make it through this thing. Now you're thinking, if we can hold out till they've recovered a good chunk of mana, victory's as good as ours. After that, all we gotta do is separate the core, Crown Prince Cedricson, from the rest of the body. No sweat! We can do this! Right! Without him, it shouldn't be able to remain in this dimension any longer. Not like we got any better options. Okay, let's go! Vita, Crow, we're counting on you! Leave it to us! We won't disappoint! Grianos, Celine, would you two mind helping? Fine, if I have to. 